Hello and welcome to 90 East. In our last video we explored what pressure is. We learned that it's a way of describing how intensely a force is being applied and that it's calculated by dividing the force by the area it's being applied to. Take this box for example. It has a weight of 80 newtons. The area of the box in contact with the tabletop is 2 square meters. We can see here 1 meter times by 2 meter. Now if we substitute those values into our formula here we can work out that the pressure exerted by the box on the table is 80 newtons divided by 2 square meters, which equals 40 newtons per square meter. Something that we didn't cover in our last video is that the unit for pressure is Pascal, and that's named after French mathematician Blaise Pascal. 1 newton per square meter is equal to 1 Pascal. So here we can say that the pressure exerted by the box on the table is 40 Pascal. Something else that we learned in our previous video is that the same force can exert different levels of pressure depending on the size of the area it's being applied to. So take this pin for example. At its very tip, it has an area of approximately 0.00000025 square meters. That is, it's really, really small. Now imagine you were to apply exactly 80 newtons of pressure to this end of the pin, that is the same force that the box was applying to the table, and that the entire 80 newtons was all transferred through to the pinpoint. Let's calculate the pressure this pin would then be exerting on the table. Here's our formula again. Pressure equals force divided by area. Let's substitute the values into the equation, so 80 newtons divided by 0 0.000025 square meters, and you'll probably need a calculator for this, I know I do. Okay, here we go. Wow, 320 million Pascal. That means that the same force, that is 80 newtons, is able to exert a pressure that's 8 million times greater if it's being exerted by a pin compared to an object with the area of that box. 8 million times greater. Oh, amazing, right? Now you may be wondering, why did we use square meters as our unit here if the area is so small? You could use other units like square millimeter and say that the area is, for example, 0 0.25 square millimeters. If you were to put that into your calculation, that's no problem. You just need to remember that the answer you would get would be in newton per square millimeter and that it's not the same as a Pascal. Only one newton per square meter is equal to one Pascal. In our next couple of videos, we're going to be looking at a few more practical examples. But for now, you just need to remember that pressure is calculated by dividing force by the area it's being applied to that the typical units used to describe a pressure is Pascal, and that one Pascal is the same as one Newton per square meter. Remember, if you're given anything other than these units in a test or an assignment, you'll just need to make sure that you take it into account in your answer. We hope that you found this video useful. If you have, please like and subscribe to the channel, and check out the recent tutorial in the link below. If you're able to spare a couple of pennies and become a patron, we'd really, really appreciate it. Every little bit counts. Thank you, everyone.